it looks like a like like a it's got bars that you're leaning up against with the gosh and blur mm-hmm. and everything in the background and you're in focus yeah. and it's just awesome. I mean, was it what is it was it like a crazy feeling to shoot in the same place that they held Jesus? <laughs> Actually, no. Okay. But savage. You can do it. Could be one of those nights, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Side Project Tastes like it tastes like the camera's not focusing. It tastes it tastes like it tastes like glory. I don't even know what it is. I can't even think because I'm worried about the camera. It tastes like glory. It tastes like success, and it tastes like sexualization. Um, if you go on the Side Project merch store right now, all the sweaters are on sale because it's the summer sweater sale. Because who wants to get? sweaters during the summer or who wants to wear sweaters during the summer but if you get them now you'll have them ready for fall and winter and you can cover your nipples and they won't be all showing through your shirts and everything because you'll have a nice side project thick sweater to rock for fall and winter also this uh champion jacket this champion fleece jacket project park uh collaboration with champion the official actual company champion I feel like I've said champion more times than anybody should in a, in a, in a 30 second radius time frame, but it's absolutely awesome. Look at it. Hey, right. It's amazing. Also my watch, my Apple watch series, just saying things to me when she shouldn't. Uh, if you go there, you can get all that stuff right now. Some of it's uh, on sale. It's absolutely awesome. Including the mugs, the project thing shirt, which I feel like somebody over at Netflix copied us. I don't, I don't know exactly how that happened. Some, we have, I'll figure it out with Chario later, but, uh, but yeah. Good times, good times, head on over there. Good times throughout this whole episode where the camera's probably not gonna, not gonna focus. It's all right, let's get to the bread and the butter of this episode because I don't want to waste any more time because my guest this week, sticking with the theme of long time comings, is a cosplayer that knows no bounds when it comes to outputting quality cosplay content, whether it be suited up, perfectly portraying and embodying each character on display, ranging from the likes of Marvel's Rogue or Jubilee to DC's Catwoman, Supergirl or Batgirl, or even within the gaming community with her amazing Yennefer or Siri from The Witcher, or whether it be as a seamstress working hard herself to bring to life our favorite comic characters, her favorite comic characters, putting in the time with the craft that not all of us have, but prop makers and other creators can appreciate alike. My guest this week is an Israeli who kudanood her way into this show after being a previous cosplay of the week. She'd probably disagree, but much like all of my guests, I'd like to say that she's a staple in the cosplay community. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and give a warm welcome to Paper Moon Cosplay. <laughs> What's going you on? Fly now to all the things you just said about me? Oh, stop it, man. <laughs> This is, this is this is weird because we're actually we actually speak outside of the show and that that's nothing to, that's yeah. not to say that I don't speak to other other guests and whatnot outside of the show as well um <laughs> but this one is weird because we have like a relationship outside of the show so I feel like I gotta put my like professional podcast chazzy situation on <laughs> and it's weird to do it's it okay. it's weird doing it with you you know <laughs> but on my March 6th episode, with Bradman Cosplay and Vicus Vids, I featured you as the Cosplay of the Week for your Batgirl. Right. Your Barbara mm-hmm. Gordon Batgirl. Since then, I've gotten I've gotten to know you a bit, uh, a little bit about your backstory. And I think like between all the mutual friends that we have and everything as well in this community and to those that are tuning mm-hmm. into the full episodes, always thank you. They see your cosplays. They see the, those basic moments and all the visuals that you post and everything. And they, they know that you're a big con goer. They know the characters that you like most because you cosplay as them. You know, the, the basics. But I don't think they know mm-hmm. the... 
inner workings, those extra details, the stories of what, when, why, and how. So I want to ask you, because I'm actually even curious. I don't even know the full length of this story, to be honest right. with you. Um, <laughs> how did you get into cosplay in the first place? Because everyone has a story, a buildup, humble beginning. So from the you know little PETA that you once were to the stack of PETAs that you've become, uh, how did you journey? <laughs> how, how did your journey into cosplay uh, begin? Wow. Um, I'll have to go back with you, like 09, because I've started cosplaying at around that time. It doesn't seem long like that long ago. ago, but it actually is quite a long it time is. ago. It is. Almost yeah. 14 years ago. Um, oh so I had this group of friends that we would hang out together after school. Um, and most of them just got into cosplay inevitably. I just, you know, started doing it too with them. Um, at that time, I was more into anime. So I started cosplaying anime characters. So my first cosplay was actually from a mecha anime uh, called Macros Frontier. Mm. Also, at that time, you couldn't really buy cosplays. Mm. It wasn't that common. Yeah. Um, so you either made it yourself or you paid someone to make it for you. Mm. Or if it was a really known character or a really known anime, then you could buy it online, but it was really expensive. Mm. And I would have to buy it from like other countries because nowhere in Israel... I, I, I couldn't have found it here. Mm -hmm. So I went to my aunt. She had a sewing machine and I was like, can I use it? I, I want to try and sew something. She would like show me the basic things with how to operate a sewing machine. And ever since then, it's like really try and error with sewing because up until today, I'm not sewing as I should be sewing. Like, Every time I talk to you, I'm you're using, sewing. I am. I am. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not using like patterns or doing it the right way. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting the fabric cutting the fabric, just trying something, and it works out. I mean, I have so to do lots of adjustments. you just kind of stuff but... together and hoping for the best or what? Yes, this is exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> um, also, like, you know, with, <laughs> with cosplay, you can't really just take patterns of clothes that you really wear in, like, daily, because most of the time it's not, like, regular clothes. Mm -hmm. So you don't really have patterns that you can use. Um I mean, you can buy something similar and make adjustments. So I'm already making adjustments. So I'm just, I'm just cutting it. You know, every time, every time I talk to you and you're like, oh yeah, I'm sewing, I'm sewing <laughs> this. In my mind, I picture, I picture you like in a, in a rocking chair, like, <laughs> but doing it by hand. Like I always forget that there's like machines and everything, which you have behind you right now. Yeah. But in my mind, when we're talking and stuff and you're telling me, oh yeah, I'm doing this, I'm making this one. And I yeah. picture you like in a rocking chair, like, like fucking, <laughs> fucking knitting. Listen, there are times. The, I am the cowardly right? dog on TV and you fucking, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I picture every time. But in actuality, you're, it's, you're fucking doing that shit. I'm selling. She sold. I don't sell. I think I can, I can speak for most of us when I say that during COVID, we really consumed lots of popular culture. Video games or TV shows or like comics, like whatever. Yeah. And during those years, I really got into like Star Wars. I mean, I was a Star Wars fan, but not that yeah. like into it, but Star Wars. You were a um, fake Star Wars fan before then. <laughs> yeah, you can say so. Yeah. Um, and I really got into like the whole comic uh, superhero shit. Yeah. It's also hard Not out there. Way to say it. It's hard out there with yeah. all, the, all the sand and everything getting all the sand. All the you sand know. I live in. I basically live in Tatooine. Yeah, so. it's crazy. All the sand <laughs> flowing in through, through your window. So it was probably it was probably difficult to sit down and watch TV because you're ah oh, fuck all this fucking sand. It's all flowing in your uh -huh. house. It's crazy. I know. A Star Wars, a Star Wars cosplay will happen, and I will shoot it here in the desert. Yeah, you actually you, literally you have see. the perfect area for it. You showed me pictures. You have like uh -huh. the perfect yeah. area. Of, I actually told you that. I'll I said, do it. Well, all this time that you've been cosplaying, why <laughs> haven't you done a Star Wars cosplay? And you were like, oh, I don't know. I'm, you know I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. I'll do it. All I right. promise you. I'm counting on it. Um, <laughs> Start so working on that I tomorrow. Run... <laughs> <laughs> I think my first cosplay, uh, like a superhero cosplay was Supergirl. Not this one, the original one that I made. Mm -hmm. It was March of 2018, I think. When did the Batgirls and the Catwomen and like that, like what you're known for, I guess you could say, when did that start? I think Batgirl was before I really got into know the American cosplay community, but mm -hmm. I made my Batgirl around March of 21st, I think, for a con in Israel. And it was really cool. People really liked it. And I started to get attention like internationally for this cosplay um then i got to meet so many people 
like it gotten to know so many people online um, who cosplay DC characters. Um, one of them is one of my best friends today, Sadalop. We started talking. He would give me so many advices, like about my cosplay. So when I've gotten to know more people that do that cosplay, like DC characters, um, they referred me to like makers, right. and I upgraded my cosplays with with time. What made you want to get into the Marvel and DC cosplay? Because I consume so many popular culture, like during COVID, it was really fresh. Mm -hmm. And I just really love the characters. And it's also fun to be a superhero, you know? Yeah. It makes you feel good. I mean, not gonna lie. <laughs> you know, you know that that I'm I'm a big gamer, and everybody that tunes into the show should yeah. know by now that I, I'm a big gamer as well. And if you have eyes, you can see in the background all the gaming stuff that's that's there. Shout out to all my blind people that tune in, though. <laughs> uh, the show has shifted away a little bit from the gaming content. So anytime that I get to talk gaming with anybody, whether it be uh, even within cosplay or, or actual gaming content in general, it lights me up inside, uh, like Snoop lights his joints. So I want to talk to you about. Your Witcher cosplays. You have Siri out here yes. looking amazing, looking looking like her down to a T, yes. as well as your Jennifer <laughs> cosplay, which is epic as hell. Um, your Siri is awesome, seriously. You have it down pat from head to toe. The bands on the bicep area, those little details that that just bring it together even more to the waist, to the belt, to the makeup. It's all on point. And I mentioned, and you mentioned, we've been talking about you making your own cosplays and everything. Was mm -hmm. Siri one of the ones that you made yourself as well? Or was it like a mix and yeah. match of purchase and sewing? I made uh, Siri myself, the whole cosplay. It was really another like step to to get better. Yeah. With cosplay, I feel like um, because I I had to work with so many new. It was the first time I've used three printing um, mm -hmm. for cosplay. It was really exciting. I printed all the belts, uh, buckles, and stuff. Oh, what the um, hell? Yeah, because she has a unique um, buckles. She has unique yeah. buckles all over the cosplay. So yeah. I I found the file and I printed it, and it was really exciting for me to actually use something new for this cosplay. The original sword that I that I had for this cosplay, I crafted it from wood. Jesus also Christ. like a fun ex a fun experience. Um and the whole making, you know, of the of the cosplay using so many types of different fabrics. I had to to use hammer to I don't know if you can see over the pants you have like metals. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I just like on your, <laughs> like on your thighs. In the <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um so it was a fun project. I mean I, I learned a lot during um like make like while making this cosplay. I love Siri in general. She's a badass character. I love her. Yeah, it's um, amazing. Yeah, but then it. I mean, I I I made I made uh, the the whole um, belt. She has a belt, like you know, the metal belt here. The, the big one. Uh, out of yeah. Right. Yeah. On the corset from foam originally, but when I um, remade the cosplay, I printed it as well. I have specific photographers that I usually work with. One of them is Roy, um, and he's a really good friend of mine. And beside, like, he's he's a really great photographer, but it's not his job. But he's also, like, a very craft. Like, he, he makes amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. And for my birthday, he made me Siri Sword out of metal. Oh, nice. Um, and is that the one that you ended up using? Yes. Yeah. I have it here, actually. Um, it's it's oh, really, shit. like, Yes. And leather and everything. He really made it for metal. It's huge. Um, it's amazing. It's huge and it's heavy. It's like yeah. a real sword. Um, so I can't get like bring it to cons. It's not. It's I safe. have been fighting the urge cons. to make so many jokes throughout <laughs> throughout you talking. By the way. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, bring it. <laughs> you'll you'll see you'll see it in editing. I'll you'll see my face throughout the whole the whole time. I you you have this one photo of you sitting on the stairs with this sword and everything, yeah. uh, and like the uh, the cinder block wall in the background and everything. And you posted this one of you on the stairs in June <laughs> of 2022, and the caption says, "I know where you're getting with this." <laughs> the caption says, "Quote." I'm going to show you it. Come on. <laughs> Come I'm on, really talk. not sure whether I like my cheekbones in this picture or not, end quote. And I got to yeah. tell you, Tyre, I got to tell you, <laughs> when you first posted this, that's precisely what we all were looking at. I just want to let you know that uh, I I was worried too. Sure. I was wor I was worried for you. You know what I mean? I was like the bravery to post this picture with cheekbones in that position. I didn't know what to do. I liked the photo, <laughs> but then I was like, wait a minute, because I read the caption. And I was like, she doesn't like her cheekbones, so I took the like back. I was like, wait a minute, never mind, and I put it back. And I was like, can't like this photo until we figure out 
what's going on with these cheekbones? So <laughs> it's now it's now a year later, and I'm curious. Do you are you okay with the cheekbones? Can we move forward? I'm okay with it now. I'm okay, okay. with it now. That's good. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad. I you made also, peace with my cheekbones. Okay, I'm yes. glad. Because we were all definitely <laughs> really concerned for a year and a whole month. Um, you also have this other one uh, <laughs> photo by Roy Darnell as well. That's Roy Darnell on Instagram. It looks like a like like a it's got bars that you're leaning up against with the gosh and blur mm-hmm. and everything in the background and you're in focus yeah. and it's just awesome. I mean, was it what is it was it like a crazy feeling to shoot in the same place that they held Jesus? <laughs> Actually, no. Okay. But savage. I mean, this is this is one of the times that I could really use Israel for my advantage because yeah. we have ancient cities here, and it just felt right to to, to shoot this in one of those cities. Yeah. This, this this specific um, cosplay I shot in Jaffa, which is right next to Tel Aviv. Yeah. But I also shot many things in Jerusalem. They look exactly the same. Of course. Of um, course. Very ancient very like you know the stones and stuff um so we went there at night um it's much easier to cosplay at night because then people don't stare at you <laughs> wait, so wait what is this place <laughs> all jokes aside it's not it's where a, they held a jesus street. it's just the street it's a street yeah what it the looks whole like city a, looks like this what is happening it looks like it's like a jail cell <laughs> or something or like a, a, a you know what i mean no, like this is th- these are bars for um, a door, for like, there's a, um, for there's a old door? street for, yeah. What's happening? Are you guys just like, <laughs> just like moving fucking doors and shit? No, but it's an ancient city and this is how it looks like. I mean, an most of Israel doesn't look city? like this. Did you say action city? Ancient, ancient, ancient city. Ancient, ancient, ancient. They said action. I was like, what is this? Like an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? What's going yes. on? Yes, if you're going to laugh about my English, I'm going to get out. A- ancient. I'm going to get out of the okay. door. All right. Ancient. Well, I'm just trying to provide <laughs> quality, you know, content here. Put, peak, put subtitles. Peak performance is what we're trying to achieve. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want a badge. Anyway, this is, badge. this is this is crazy. <laughs> this is amazing. In all seriousness, I didn't realize that it was just yeah. a street like that. No, you guys do. In all yes, seriousness, all jokes aside, you guys really do because uh, obviously pictures that you've posted, but then things that you've shared with me as well. Like you have crazy, amazing, like areas, like literally ancient areas, like awesome areas, perfect for photo mm-hmm. shoots and for video shoots, perfect for cosplay, just coincidentally. Um, have you ever thought about doing like an Assassin's Creed? Are you an Assassin's Creed fan at all? I am not. I am not, I but people have told me to do that because it's literally taking place on those cities. We're going to have to end this interview here um, since we don't <laughs> like Assassin's Creed. Uh, I'm okay with it. You know? I'm okay with it. I have no one to cosplay there. Come on. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Nah, there are nah. female. There's female assassins. I can cosplay Altair. You could. I, no, I was gonna because I was gonna tell you you could because it's it's part of your name. Um, yeah. No, because I okay. Look, all right. Here, well, surprise. I want to do do an Assassin's Creed cosplay with me. Okay. They have women. They have women assassins. Look it up. They do, but I don't. I'm I'm not a big fan of the game, so I'm not cosplaying characters that I don't really like. You are. You are. <laughs> you are a big fan. You're gonna get into it. You're gonna. You have the time. Okay. You're gonna get into make it. Make me. Make me a, a big fan, and I'll. You're gonna be it. a fan. You, okay. Do do one with okay. me. Make me an Ezio <laughs> cosplay. Let's do. I'll do. Okay. You know who Ezio is? I know, and I know you're not serious about me making you cosplay. I'm fucking so I'm dead serious about this one, actually. Hold on. Have you seen yeah, Ezio? Yeah, with the, sure. Have you seen the older Ezio with the beard? Do you know what I'm talking about or no? Yes, yes, I know. And he's got like the blue, it's like a blue, um, like robes and everything and like the hood mm-hmm. and everything. You know what I'm talking I'll about? I'll make it to you. I'll make it to you if you're serious. I kind of And am. I'll cosplay with you if you're serious. Yeah, I'm a little serious right now. But you're not serious. I, am. I know you. You're not serious. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I am. I am. Okay, okay, we'll see. Talk Let's to me like one. six months from now. But then I gotta, okay. I, I gotta get out there though. We have to, because we have to shoot it in that kind of you scenery. You do. All you right. do. Come to Greece and then, you know, jump here and we'll, yeah, we'll I know, make since it happen. It's just, since it's just a camel ride away. Um, what, <laughs> what made you want to cosplay as characters from The Witcher? Because you also have your Yennefer, which you have two variations here. One yeah. with like the, uh, the awesome graphics also done by Roy Darnell. Uh, the one with you holding the, the fireball in your hand as well. And then you, yeah. dub, you doubled up, busting out with two spells in, in both hands. So one's just a, <laughs> one's a fireball, one's purple balls. Either way, you've got balls in your hand in both of them. Uh, but then you also have the black and white rendition, which the fo- photos by Alex, the DC 
accent and everything about these like matches everything the makeup all of it it's it's absolutely it's perfect it's amazing i love it and i've told you that a million times that i really love your yennefer <laughs> and your siri as well what made you want to cosplay as siri and yennefer was it the netflix show was it the games what what the was games, your inspiration the games. also during COVID, i i really got into the witcher games i'm not a big gamer i'm not considering myself a gamer when i when i play i usually play with someone that actually plays um and i just watch them play and tell them what to do because i'm their brain behind the game of course um, of course <laughs> i'll tell them how to crack you know all the quests and stuff but it's I'm, crazy I'm that you're not playing. an assassin's creed fan when you're an assassin in your real life she, you guys maybe not not know this but she's <laughs> revealing all my secrets she's charity. a trained assassin from when she went into <laughs> what is it what do you guys do is it the Mossad? 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 Mossad. Yeah, I'm, I'm at a Mossad, right? You were. That's like yeah. was that that that'd be like the equivalent of of our <laughs> CIA, right? Is mm-hmm. that what it would be? Yeah. Yeah. See how she got quiet because she's not supposed to talk about it. She's I'm not here. supposed to talk about it. I'm sorry, I interrupt you. So yeah. you chose because of the games? <laughs> yes, because of the games. Yeah. Um. So during I really got into the Witcher, Witcher three, um, specifically. Yes. Um. And I really loved everything about it. Yeah. I I I I actually love all the characters there. Um, I do prefer Yennefer over Tris, mm-hmm. and I'm judging you people, all of you people. I'm judging you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can, can I curse here? Yeah, we we have been this entire time, both of us. Okay, so okay, Siri, perfection. Nothing yes. bad to say about Siri. Everyone loves Siri. Yennefer, classic. You yes. know, real like yes. woman power. Yes. Tris, a whore. <laughs> He's a <laughs> I don't even What's like. There's the like. I don't even. T- I don't. I, it's it's either it's either Siri or Jennifer for me. Tris isn't even in the picture. It doesn't. I don't even. Doesn't even resonate. I mean, I would probably cosplay her too because I love the design. Mm. But she's a whore. <laughs> I guess did people you, love horse. <laughs> well, yeah, it is America. Uh, did you did you finish the game or did you did you yeah. not finish? I didn't I didn't finish that game, dude. Even like the extension that they released lately. The DLC. Let's use American yeah. words. All right, no, we're not in Israel. Right now. Okay. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know your your Witcher cosplays are awesome, and I know people are probably like, oh Thank man, you. why isn't he talking about her Catwoman or her Batgirl or her Supergirl or anything like that? Because I feel like you, I, I mean, you've said it publicly as well, so this isn't news or anything, but you've talked to me about it like that. Uh, I, I believe you said you don't feel like your Witcher cosplays get enough love. And I said the same thing, no. actually. Like, I really love them. And I think they're absolutely awesome. And maybe I'm biased because I like gaming stuff. And I don't see, I mean, I see a lot of gaming cosplays. I'm not going to lie. But um, I feel like, you know, superhero cosplays are much more prominent than anything else. Yeah. You know? So mm-hmm. when I get the chance to talk about gaming cosplays and everything. And then also just to kind of highlight, um, I guess, the way that you word it, the stuff that's not as popular i guess you could say on your page and everything like that so i wanted to talk about Mm -hmm. something different um which we're going to get into some of your x-men cosplays as well but before we do that i want to get into a segment that i like to call (laughs) shotgun questions and shotgun questions is (laughs) shotgun questions is a little bit more of a uh, (laughs) rapid fire segment where we're asking a couple questions and see how fast we can get through them and they never actually end up being that rapid fire except for i think like two or three different guests but we usually end up talking about it and it's fine if we do end up talking about it but let's see how shotgun gunny we can get here um and oh by the way this segment is a segment where the guests don't know anything they have no idea what i'm talking about they don't know the questions i did not prep them beforehand all they know is that it's gonna happen but they don't know when it's happening if you could choose any dc animated movie to adapt into live action and actually be done justice which would you pick totally the red sun nice Um, yes good choice i love this movie uh, um, it actually really even gotten me into my thesis to my PhD on um, this movie. Uh, um, your what? Your Jesus to your what? <laughs> thesis. Your what? My thesis. Your titties? Why are you talking about titties on my show? What is happening? Stop let's, making fun of my let's English. Calm, let's calm the titties. T h s i s thesis. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Proceed. Catwoman versus Black Black Cat. Who wins and why? We also talked about it before. Um, I did. I did a, a poll tough, on this. That's why. Yeah, um, it's a tough decision. I'll I'll say Black Cat. Um, I feel like she's. I feel like she's more like powerful with her powers. Mm-hmm. Um, I just like Catwoman more. 
like her backstory, but I feel like Black Hat is stronger. Out of these Batmen, you've got Keaton, Bale, Affleck, Pattinson. You can only choose one and the rest and their universe cease to exist. Who do you pick? Let me stop you there. There is one correct answer to this question in this Christian Bale. It's Batfleck, uh, but it's okay. No. Yes. No, Christian Bale is the Batman. I love Bale. Okay. Um, I mean, and I love everything about the Dark Knight. So That's all right. You know, some people yeah. have taste, others don't. Um, top, <laughs> top characters you want to see in the MCU's iteration of X-Men. Polaris. Nice. Um, I really, really love her. And I they did have um an adaption, like the gifted. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't Marvel, it was by by Fox, Fox. I think. Yeah, I think it was Fox. I guess yeah. Emma. Uh Emma um, Frost, yes. Yes. We got her in the and, Fox iteration, but it could be done better. Yes. And obviously Rogue. Um yes. I mean we had her in the movies, but you know, like Rogue Rogue. Yeah. Good um, old Southern Bell. Yeah. Yeah. Sugar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. All right. Last one. If you could time travel to any period, any era, where would you go and why? And you can have up to three choices. Um, I'll probably give you unexpected answers here. I'll probably go to Chosun era of South Korea, Korea in general, um, during that time. I think around the 18, 18, 10, 18, 90, during that period of time, from 10 to 90, um, just in before Japan occupied Korea. Wow. Um, Totally know your shit. It's insane. Yeah, I, 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 you know it. You know I've studied Korean studies. You know I it. Do. I'm acting for the uh, camera. Right <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've actually had my my bachelor degree in um, international relations and Korean studies. So I am really into Korean history. I'd say England, Victorian times, mm -hmm. also like an interesting God, the time. Yes, and the clothes too. Yes. Also, like you know, this was a very um, I'll say innovative times because Victoria and Albert were really like into science and everything. So they really like wanted to, uh, progress and it was really new times for everyone. Everyone really judged them for it, but they yeah. went for it. And I guess everyone says that about the future, but not like near future. I'll say like, I don't know, oh, 200 wow. years from now. Yeah, um, it's funny. I think that's what, exactly what Ray picked. Really? I think um, so. He's either amazing. said 200 or 500. I don't remember. <laughs> it's amazing. I don't think we will be here in 500 years, to be honest. I don't think we'll be here. Well, of course not. We're going to be fucking dead. Yes. We you mean like the ourselves. actual earth, the whole earth, uh, or just you and I specifically? You and I specifically. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Humankind in general. All right. Yeah. I don't um, think we will be either. It'll just be. It'll just no. be AI at that point. We're all just going to be AI. Yeah, but it's amazing to see how much we've progressed in the last hundred years. So it's really amazing to see what we will be able to do in that's another hundred or two hundred. Aliens helped us out with all yes. that, but that's a different conversation. Of course. All we right. should make a whole podcast about aliens. I would love to actually. I have been. Did you actually? No, you fucking didn't. I know you didn't. But did you? I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it for the sake of it anyway. Does anybody remember? Did you see? Does anybody remember that episode where? Who was I talking to? God, I don't remember. I think it was. I think it was the same episode that you were featured in the cosplay of the week. Uh, I think it was with Brad and with Seth Vicus Vids. Mm -hmm. Um, we were talking about how we wanted to do an episode about like, um, conspiracies and like aliens. Uh, the pyramids and like just a, oh, yeah. a, a different, a different episode because I exactly, because I brand this show as, <laughs> as gaming film cosplay and more. That's what the slogan of the show is. Side project podcast, gaming film cosplay and more. But lately it's just really been about cosplay more than anything. So I haven't been saying that slogan or putting that out there, but the, and more was tacked on to the show because I used to do, when I had a co-host and shit, I used to do uh, eating challenges on the show. Um, I've done the Pocky Chip Challenge three three years in a row. Um, I've done fast food challenges, like where we would blindfold and try to guess where the burgers are from. And you know I don't eat fast food. So <laughs> that was right. like, that's a, that's a crazy one for me. Um, but we would do all kinds of different stuff. And then we did a Mandela, a whole episode on the Mandela effect before. So we had- Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, super interesting. And so we had uh, like that, that, we called that the and more side 
of the side project podcast where we it was like special mm-hmm. special episodes that didn't really have anything to do with gaming film or cosplay still did a cosplay of the week every episode but i want to get like a few people together and kind of introduce reintroduce that side of this show because i think it could make for interesting conversation but the difference would be now i'm doing it with cosplayers so we're talking about these conspiracies. Yeah. So it's still it's still in relation to cosplay and everything. There's right? more to us than exactly, cosplay. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Do it. Let's do it. Let's are you gonna, are you gonna do it too? You're too smart for all yeah. of this, though. You know what I mean? Oh. We'll have to get sod on too, so he can talk about dinosaurs. I know he'll be stoked <laughs> about that. <laughs> um I can talk about nuclear powers if you want me to. Okay, and none of us will know what the fuck is happening. So Kudos I mean, open artery is the thing now. I mean, people what? know their shit now. I would love to know what you just said. I don't. I have no idea. I just said Oppenheimer is a thing now. Oppenheimer. People- oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> people are getting into nuclear weapons. So, you yeah. know. Yeah. I'm going to have to put subtitles thing. throughout this video. Uh, before it, we continue talking to you about uh, <laughs> X-Men and get into your Batgirl and everything, uh, let's break up the monotony and let's get into this week's oh, Cosplay wow. of the Week. And this week's cosplay of the week is none other than M. LeVay369 on Instagram. And it is of, that's Maria LeVay. Man, Maria, I swear to God, if your name is not LeVay, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> I'm going to be pissed because the way that you stylize it is L, it, it, capital L, and then a little on the A and then a capital V. So it's got to be LeVay, right? So it's Maria LeVay, M. LeVay369 on Instagram. And it is of. Her Supergirl, and I'm throwing it up on the screen right about now. And this is absolutely phenomenal, man. I love everything about this. I have gotten the chance to work with Maria. I was going to say a few times, but I think it was just once, I think. Oh, no. But it was like a, it was a, it was a, like a, long, it was a long day, a long night. I, I got there a little bit late, though, so it was a long night. But I don't know. It feels like it was more than once, but... uh this is absolutely amazing. Her Supergirl looks exactly like uh, the Supergirl from The Flash, whose name I currently can't remember for some reason. What's her name? Do you know it? The the actress? Yeah. Why am I drawing a blank? I'm having a, I'm having a blank, too. Um, Somebody's screaming at the screen right now, because I also just wrote it, I think, on TikTok. But anyway... <laughs> um, this is absolutely amazing. It's the Sasha. Super- Sasha, Sasha something. There we go, uh, yeah. Sasha, I don't know how to... Pr- how do you pronounce her last name? Ka... Ka- I don't, I don't know. Remember We're not going to try. We're not even going to try. Um, <laughs> amazing. It looks exactly like the Supergirl from The Flash. I love everything about it from the hairstyle down to the suit to the cape flowing and everything as well. It's absolutely awesome. And uh, while we're continuing to talk about this, I want to throw up uh, uh, the, this one, which is uh, the black New 52 Snyder cut, if you whatever you want to say. Or is it New 52? Was the black one in the New 52 comments? I may have misspoke. I don't, I don't know if so. I got that right. But either way, it's the Snyder cut version of... Um, her Supergirl with the black and all that stuff looks absolutely phenomenal as well. This photo is by Art.Hero Photo, and the black edit is by... Oh, man. <laughs> These fucking <laughs> names, you guys. Uh, the edit... <laughs> or she gave credit to the edit idea, and the edit idea was by three people, it seems, and it was by uh, Mick... McSqueezy02. <laughs> it's gonna be It's going to be on the screen if you want to look at the spelling. And then underscore... It could be Alex's. It could be Alexis. I don't know. Underscore, underscore, and then uh, mini dot underscore. The spelling's on the screen, you guys. I'm not going to spell those names out. Um, but everything about this is awesome. Like I said, I got the chance to work with her on a few things. I did some videos for her. They may or may not be playing right now, or they may or may not, not be playing just as we're talking about the cosplay in general. And uh, the theme of this year is always long time coming. It's been long time coming since the beginning of this year. And this is a long time coming as well. And I want to throw up a third shot while we're talking about it. Bam! And it's up right now. And it's uh, it's just like a side view with the cape flowing and everything. And the and the hair looking exactly like... um how it does in, in, the, in the Flash movie and everything. And I just love it. Photos by Our Hero Photo, once again. Previous uh, guest on the show uh, and mentioned here, obviously, many, many times. Uh, but this is this is phenomenal. And I love everything about it, Maria. And I've told you that in person, how great you look and everything. So it's a long time coming. I've been wanting to feature you as a cosplay of the week. And I feel like it was just fitting. I feel like it's girl power here because we've got Paper Moon Cosplay as a guest here today, right? And uh, <laughs> do you got anything that you want to add to this? I just wanted to say she looks amazing. Yeah, not many people could pull this cosplay off. I yeah. mean, I wanted to. I'm just 
not going to. Well, you have uh, a Supergirl cosplay and it's in the background right yeah. now that you made Yeah, but not this yourself? version. You made yours yourself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You made yours yes. yourself. I, oh, yeah. I make most of my cosplay myself. Most of them, but I'm going to get, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. It's not about <laughs> you right now, selfish guy. Right, right. So I wanted to say, <laughs> I wanted to say she looks amazing. And the fact that, I mean, people that use their own hair for yeah. cosplay, specifically this one, yeah. it just looks so much better. Yeah. And she looks amazing. Yeah. She Love looks, it. yeah. Not, not a lot of people can pull that hairstyle off too, I think, in my personal opinion. Mm-hmm. Sorry, yeah. I'm, sorry, I'm shaming people out there, but it it is it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, it is it, it's true. It's yeah, true. It is. Uh, if you're not following Maria, go follow on on Instagram at m dot lave l a v e y three six nine on Instagram because Maria, your Supergirl cosplay for me and Paper Moon cosplay, your Supergirl cosplay of the week for me and Paper yeah. Moon cosplay is amazing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a plus one. It's just me and my producer. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Bye. Chario, pack a bag. We're going to Dragon Con. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. You can't just come in and drop a bomb like that. Hiroshima. There's no setup or anything. Look, man, I know you've always wanted to come, be a part of these events and everything. You're always stuck here in the studio. So always thought... in the stew. What was that, dude? Definitely. Don't do that in front of anybody in Atlanta. Okay? Wait, so... I really am coming? Yes, man. I told you. All right, so pack a bag. Pack the equipment bag, too. Bring some things, because we're going to be... <laughs> we're going to be shooting some stuff, all right? <laughs> you and me, me and you. Who would have thought? Uh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. When do we leave? Wednesday. This coming Wednesday? Wait, I'm not even ready, dude. No, man. Why would we leave that early? What are we going to do out there for that long? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe travel a little bit. See the scenery. Get us some southern food. Maybe a little Georgia Beach. We leave the 30th of August. It's a Wednesday. Yeah, what time? Because I got a lot going on. 9 a.m. So get up bright and early, all right? Oh, dude. I got to call imposter. Why would you call imposter? He's not even going this year, okay? Don't bother him, dude. He just had another kid. Let's let him raise it first. You know, listen, I feel like we got to go over some ground rules. I don't see why we would need to do that. There's going to be no llamas. Just one. Not even one. No goats, no sheep, just a couple. Why would we jump up in numbers of animals? If there was zero llamas, why would we go from here to... There's going to be no animals, dude, okay? Of any kind, just humans. Oh, but they're my emotional support animals. Except they're not, though, right? (laughs) You know? You're like that lady that brought a peacock on the plane. Nobody liked that, all right? No cocks on the plane. One cock, no cocks. Are we talking about the same thing? Don't embarrass me out there, okay? Me? Come on, dude. Look who you're talking to. Right, right. Well, I'm gonna go tackle this beast that is my facial hair. Yeah, you trim that up, Gandalf! Okay, you get everything together. Send you a uh, checklist later, all right? <laughs> Dragon Con, right? Hey. Woo! All right, man! August 30th, 9 a.m. Meet me at the airport, but I'll already, I'll already be here, though. All right, at the airport! And I don't wanna see you until then. <laughs> what? And I don't even care what they say about you, man. You're coming with me anyway. Wait, what do they say? I like you either way, dude. Kind of. A little bit. Wait, what? I'll see you there, dude. All right? You're the guy, man. Where's the guy? There's the guy. All right. Wait, dude, should I make us a dragon? <sighs> like, like me as, a, me as a dragon? Well, I was thinking like me, Chario, the dragon. Because like you're, you're already the Chazasaurus Rex. I kind of like that idea. Let's sit on that. All right? We'll figure that one out. All right? What, what does that mean? Are you doing sign language? Pew, 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 pew. Pow, 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 pow. Oh, you got me. Oh, pew, pew. Hey, wait a minute. That's the bad finger. I'll see you at the con. Oh, you said the airport. In Atlanta. Hey, wait a minute, though, dude. I got a couple more questions. Like, are we doing a whole episode out there, or are we just filming a couple things? Are they going to have food on the plane? Is that going to be extra? Who are your favorite yeah. X-Men characters of all time? Well, um, I love Magneto. Like, yeah. really, really love Magneto. Who doesn't? Um, not because he's a Jew. I, you but, know, I wasn't uh, going to say it. You know. I wasn't going to say it. All right? <laughs> Somebody's a J-O-O. But you thought, you, you thought it. You, you were thinking about it. I was. And I know it. This entire <laughs> I episode, <laughs> I have been holding back from making Jewish jokes the entire time. <laughs> I really have. I really I, have. I love- <laughs> I love Storm. 
Um, she's amazing. Yeah. Um, where I black, if I was black, I would cost. If you were black. Yeah. Know. Yeah. You can't, apparently you can't, <laughs> if you're not. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to do that. Um, and you know, Wolverine, obviously, right. uh, everyone will love Wolverine. Um, who else? I love Jubilee and I love Rogue, obviously. I fucking, there them. we go. Nice, thank you. I was waiting for the fucking <laughs> Jubilee and Rogue so I could segue. I did it on purpose. God, I did it Jesus on purpose. Christ. Your Jubilee <laughs> cosplay is absolutely awesome. Thank you for the segue. Uh, this, this is a cosplay that I personally don't come across often. There's obviously, there's definitely are, there definitely are some Jubilee cosplayers out there, obviously, but it's just, it's a cosplay that I personally don't come across often. And it's a character that I also think often goes overlooked. And you pulled this off flawlessly. I've told you that it's actually one of my favorites of yours of all time. I felt like I told you that I felt like it, everything about it just, it just fits. It's perfect. Every, I love everything about it. And this one specific photo that we're looking at uh, is the one where uh, Wins did the edit, which is always a job well done, of course. And then, um, Little, 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 what is yes, it? Yes, little, little, little P. Okay. Little, All right. yes. Little, little P on the photo. Uh, <laughs> the classic look here, that classic X-Men look, the colors and everything as well. The hairstyle, like I said, fits you perfectly because I feel like you've got the facial structure for it, the cheekbones. Let me throw up this other photo with you, um, like holding the, the jacket and everything a little bit, leaning up against the wall, uh, the gum going out. I'm gonna pop that shit. Um, and then you've got the yeah. belt with the X-Men belt going on there and everything as well. Uh, it's amazing. Everything about it is Thank you. just amazing. And then you have yeah. your rogue. This photo here is by Roy, Dar Roy Darnell. Uh, the edit's by Ryan Sims. Everything about this, again, is amazing. The edit is phenomenal. And I want to point something out that you have two different wig variations on right. your rogue cosplay. You have the straight hair, and then you have the wavy hair here. And me, mm -hmm. personally, I've told you, I like the wavy hair. I like. I, it's just... Yeah. It, I, it's like comic accurate. It's animated accurate. Cause she had the wavy hair in the animated series. Right. Or am I mixing it? Yeah. She mm -hmm. did. Yeah. It was way more puffier even, you know, in the animated series. Right. Yeah. Yes. Um, Rams in motion with the capture on this one. Uh, I say that the Jubilee cosplay is probably one of your more simpler cosplays. If I will. I mean, it, yeah. if not, maybe even the simplest cosplay that you've done in comparison to the work behind the scenes that you put in with all of your cosplays or in comparison to the rogue, even, uh, with the latex and all of that, how, which I don't know, is it latex? It is. Okay. Uh, how long did Jubilee take to compile in comparison to putting together rogue or even any of your other cosplays? It will all only like, if I feel like my answer won't suffice you, <laughs> Because both of them didn't take me long to make. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I just assumed that one I mean, would take longer than the other. I mean, yes, Jubilee was much easier because you. I only had to make like you know the, the pink top and the jacket. I used the jeans that I already had. Right. Um, but Rogue wasn't that difficult to make either because I already made so many bodysuits before, mm. so I just you know copy paste. So another bodysuit. Yeah. The the more the, the the more challenging thing about Rogue was the jacket because I made three jackets before I was I felt good about the jacket. Which that's what I, I was uh, gonna say that too. Like um fucking accurate as hell on the jacket. You. Like insanely accurate. And I was gonna ask if you bought it and made alterations or did you like how did you what's the I made it. I made from, three before. Just I made this one. I was from scratch like, or what? From scratch, wow. yeah. You know, you take a fabric and you put it in the sewing machine and then you 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 make clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, that's insane. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, but but I, the, the first three that I made, I really hated. Um, I used different fabrics until I got the, the right one. Yeah. Um, but I ended up really liking the results. So. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, I think I, mean, I think it took me like two days to make Jubilee. That's what and, I was ask, yeah. um, Rogue, the bodysuit itself took me like a day. It was over a weekend. I, I did it like yeah. a, in a weekend. Yeah. But the jacket took me a long time because I had to make it new all the time until I was satisfied with the results. So, yeah. Did you buy the gloves or did you make the gloves too? I make all my gloves and I suffer every time. <laughs> <laughs> What? Okay, then it's I got. It's the thing I hate most to make. So I thought that I thought that answer would be way longer. I prepared for that <laughs> shit to be way longer. So I'm gonna improv some shit. So then, what, how? What would you say is 
because you've made a lot of, a lot of your a lot of your cosplays from your Catwoman as well, right? To mm-hmm. to everything in between, to the Rogue, to the Jubilee, to the to the Witcher cosplays as well. What would you say was the hardest cosplay that you've ever made, not counting the one that I personally know that you're working on right now? I, I'll say my Arkham Knight Catwoman for sure. It was just really detailed. I don't think people really notice how detailed this suit is. Yeah. Only when you like really get a good look at it, you can see how many different types of fabrics there are there, different types of like patterns there are there. I mean, gloves in general, I really love my to to I I really try to to make my cosplays functional. Like yeah. when I go to cons, I really want to feel like I can do anything in a cosplay. Yeah. Um, so the thing about gloves is that you either need to take them off all the time so you can type yeah. or you use specific things to make it conductive so you can type with your glove on. Um, and with Catwoman, I mean, what I do most most of the time is I use a, a conductive thread. Um, I just make a little dot around the fingers. It connects my skin to the glove and then it just conduct you know the electricity from my body to the glove and then I can type with it but you can see it because it's gray and it's it doesn't look good um so with Catwoman what I I actually did was because I had to to model all the parts 3d printing parts for for my suit because no one sells them so again Roy which is a good friend of mine yeah we're super talented and is also like 3D modeling so we sat together and we modeled all the parts for Catwoman and when we modeled the parts I also asked him to model with me the, the nails for the suit because it's not regular nails if you really look close at her nails she yeah. has the nail and it's connects at the um, inner the, part to the glove right to the glove, yeah. So we made it. And when we made it, I came up with an idea. With idea, um, I think even, I, I don't know if Roy suggested it, but we, we came together with this idea of printing the, the nails from a conductive material. Um, so we did that. It was an ex- we experimented on that. Um, and I printed the Tom's nails because this material is fucking expensive yeah. okay so i printed all, only the toms um and it worked yeah. <laughs> i mean it worked i had to connect the, toms, the yeah. nail the printed nails um to a conductive thread to the glove but it worked so i could actually type on my phone with my nail yeah. um which was cool did you do a um, video I, showing that yeah i remember I have okay it. i remember that video then. i have it yeah. um i was so excited i actually typed roy <laughs> oh, I, have, okay. I, I, I was typing Roy in the chat. I, I I was chatting. You wouldn't understand it because it's in Hebrew. I right. wrote something like, "Hey, it's working." It's crazy. <laughs> and I videoed it. When I watched the video, you were typing Chazzy. I don't know what happened. It's crazy, like <laughs> Mandela effect or something. I didn't know, I don't know. you there. It's I crazy. Didn't know you I know, there, but you thought Daddy. about me all the time. It was weird. I don't know. <laughs> sure, it's, sure, Daddy. That's what happens. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um. But it's, I think it's the most complicated thing I ever made. That's interesting. Besides the one thing that you know that I'm making yeah, right that now. that you're working on. Um, <laughs> you're going to be at Dragon Con this year, uh, coming up at the end of August, beginning of September. And uh, you're not going to be bringing the, your, I guess, widely acclaimed might be the proper word uh, of Batgirl, <laughs> this version of your Batgirl. Your, uh, it's it's obviously a major standout in the community and the photo here that's on the screen is by Roy Darnell and it's by Wins. Um, whereas you're, you're usually making, like we've been talking this whole time, the majority of your cosplays yourself. This one is actually one where you went with someone else you worked with others on this like what's the details of this version of your bad girl i feel like it's it's like underwhelming to say it because you like expect a big story <laughs> <laughs> what's happening here i fucking the, the prepped, truth, the I truth. Pre- <laughs> listen i prepped her for this entire fucking episode you guys i prepped her for this whole episode Sorry. you had everything really ahead I, I of time make it, i can make it exciting <laughs> um so I was talking to Sim Cosplay. They, they reached out to me and they were like, yeah, do you want to get a cosplay? And I was like, yeah, sure, give me a cosplay. And they <laughs> just gave me this cosplay to promote. Um, what a and story. that's it. I mean, Fucking fantastic. <laughs> 
Listen, the thing is, I, I really rather make my own cosplays because I yeah. enjoy the process of making more right. than wearing the cosplay. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not saying no to free stuff. You know? <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> so. this was awesome. This was a this is an insane story the way that this turned out. It's great. Let's throw up another but photo. I love it. I love it. <laughs> listen, listen. I wasn't expecting it to be this good because I don't know. I have like low expectations when I get like bought stuff. Um, but it really is a good cosplay. I did need to make some alterations to. Yeah. It, it was a little big on me, mm. um, but overall the cosplay is really good and I love it. And people love it. Yeah. Like you, you can see the difference when I post anything else and when I post my gun yeah. in my bathroom. It's, it's like it's whew. it's not often yeah. <laughs> that uh, it's not often that I I say this. It's very few people that I say this to because I never want to. Uh, single anybody out or, or, or anything like that. But uh, I really do genuinely think that this is the best Gotham Knights Batgirl that I've ever seen. And it's nothing new. Uh -huh. You fucking know this. But, <laughs> like, it's just amazing from everything. And that's a kudos to uh, Sim Cosplay as well because I a large part of that is because I, I love the suit. I love the way the suit mm -hmm. looks. I love the I love the uh, the accents on the suit and everything. I love yeah. everything about it from the emblem down to all of it. And then also uh, Lex 3D, right? I I, I did print the 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 mask and the horn myself. Um, the ears, but yeah, Lex. The ears, horns, their horns. ears, their bat their ears. Horns. They are fucking <laughs> bat ears. No. Um, <laughs> Who did the emblem? Sim did the em <laughs> emblem too? Yeah, it's it comes with it's a cosplay. All, okay, all right. Well, fuck, fuck, yeah. excuse me. Excuse me, <laughs> princess. You know, because I know you get a lot of a lot of emblem emblems from Jay Curtis, right? Yes. yes. I mean he doesn't have <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he has um bad good one, but oh, okay. this one comes with a cosplay. Oh, yeah, well, but yeah, Jay Curtis is me. great. I mean, I love his emblems, as yeah. you can see. No, these, this is awesome. I love everything about it from the photo to the, yeah. uh, to the edit, to the cause, uh, to the, to the suit and everything. And then obviously you in the suit is what brings it all together even more as well. Did, uh, what about the wig? Did you get the wig yourself or did, it, did that come with yeah. it too? I, I did get the wig myself. Yeah. Okay. Well, fine, you know. <laughs> it's my original Anastasia, um, wig because I used to cosplay Disney characters. Yeah. So Okay. You had another bad girl cosplay before this one. And uh, if I got the timeline right and everything, it was your Burnside bad girl and uh, it got destroyed and you seized the opportunity and you turned it into a deceased bad girl, which I featured as a, as a, as a, as a cosplay of the week um, during the cosplay of the week segment. What's the story behind that? Like if nobody's ever seen it, let them know, <sighs> watch, I'm sure they have, yeah. but <laughs> I, maybe they don't know the whole story. I think you wrote the story in your caption, right? I did. Yeah. I did. I, I even think you you read it when you. Um, I did. Like I re featured yeah. me as the cosplay of the week. But a lot of people, uh, there's times where I'll people, give you more details. I'll yeah, give you more details. Here. You should because okay, people don't okay. always read captions. For instance, <laughs> for instance, me, I fucked up and I didn't read your caption on your birthday, and I didn't. Right. I didn't wish you a happy birthday. But we're gonna go ahead and just move past that, like it didn't happen. I, I will never forgive you. I know. Um, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I brought my bad girl to Dragon Con, mm -hmm. as you all know. Um, and it was the original suit that I made. And when I looked for fabrics for this specific cosplay, I really looked for a specific shade of indigo, you know, because it's not blue and it's not purple. And it's not grayish. It's like in the middle. So I really looked for a specific fabric and I couldn't find this color anywhere. Right. So I ended up using a fabric, um, a leather fabric that you don't normally use for clothes. You use it for like couches and stuff. So it's not fit for clothes so and here. it's not breathing at all. So over here building the couch. Yeah. <laughs> I was the couch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So it wasn't breathing at all. It was a terrible fabric to work with. It wasn't stretching. Yeah. Um, but I really wanted to be accurate, so I used it anyways. Um, the thing is, after taking it to Atlanta, and I don't know if people know, but Atlanta is a shitty place for cosplaying. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> it's so fucking humid. It's where Dragon Con and is. I, let's, I know humid. Let's not shit on it because I'm trying to get a sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> Dragon Con is amazing. You just move it. To somewhere a, else to a nicer place yeah where perfect where i don't know i don't know america man i'm <sighs> not from america you've you been here me. you've been here yeah but not to so many places i i mean i gotta say if, if dragon con okay it's in august sidebar real quick 
if Dragon Con went to somewhere else in the summer, in August, you don't want it in New York. That's humid as all hell. That's fucked up. You don't want it in Florida. That's pretty crazy, too. Also, yeah. You don't want it in Texas. We're all going to die. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I think, obviously, we got to put it in <laughs> Iowa. No, I'm just kidding. You're not going to get that joke because you're not American. Uh, hey! <laughs> I, I'm not even being biased because I currently live here, but I feel like California would be a good place for Dragon Con to be um, in that time frame because our weather's kind of not humid all over the place, not as humid as everywhere else during this time. But I don't know where they would be able to do what they do and how they do it at Dragon Con with the five hotels and everything. I don't know how I don't know how you would do right. that here. Anyway, your Burnside. Uh, Turned into a yes, disease. Yes, so it was so humid. And I sweated the hell out of myself into that cosplay. <laughs> yeah. It was a terrible experience. Um, but, you know, normally when you get in cosplay, get out of cosplay, you just wash your cosplay. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't have that opportunity uh, in America <laughs> because <Right. laughs> yeah. because traveling to America is it's also very expensive. So I didn't just come to Dragon Con. I traveled in the U.S., so... Right. After I've been to almost a week in Atlanta, I've been to Orlando as well for another week and then another week in New York. Um, so all this time, I nicely folded my cosplay into a bag and put it in my suitcase. Um, I didn't think about it <laughs> yeah. very well. Um, so when I unpacked my stuff, when I go back to Israel, surprisingly, all my other cosplays were completely okay. I mean, the fabric I used are, are fine. I just washed it and it was okay. But this cosplay, because I used a material that wasn't suited for clothing, um, it didn't survive. I mean, the moment I took it out, it started to like... Melt? Melt, basically melt. Yeah. It was all ripped. Um, and I wanted to cry because I really loved this cosplay. And I felt like I got... Um, lots of my followers thanks to this cosplay yeah. and it was really nicely made so I was really proud of this cosplay so I was really down um, about this yeah. and I just left it there to hang because mm -hmm. I thought I'll remake it so I'll need to use the same pattern so I'll, I'll just keep it so I can take the patterns out of this cosplay to make it again and all this time it just continued to rot yeah. <laughs> in my closet yeah. <laughs> Um, but then when I was in New York with Ray, Ray and Jose, yeah. um, we would go hanging in like comic places and Jose would look at the diseased um, um, action figures all the time. Mm -hmm. He really wanted to buy them, but he didn't. Yeah, they're cool as hell. <laughs> they're awesome. Yeah. And I didn't know at the time that this is going to, to be the case with my cosplay, but I looked at the bad girl and, and the disease bad girl and I said, this is cool as fuck, you know? Yeah. Um, cool as fuck. And when I, yeah, you little fat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool as fuck. Yes. Um, and I, I, when I got back home and I saw my cosplay, just click, you know, I can do that. I mean, that would be a cool thing to do with my cosplay. If, if I, I, already going to throw it away and just make a really good funeral to this cosplay um so i just bought lots of like fake blood for the cosplay on the floor just yeah, yeah it, well, it, came, it, it came out it, fun. it came out amazing and everybody really liked it as well yeah. i featured it as the cause during uh, the second photo during the uh, cosplay of the week. And everybody, everybody, I mean, look at how many comments it has and everything and everybody's just freaking yeah. out about it. It's it's phenomenal. It was, it was job well done and way to like improvise a shitty situation and make it work mm -hmm. in your favor. Um, but you know, more, more than like the cosplay itself making it, it was the first time I actually had to act ugly for a photo. Act ugly. So, yeah, because yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, you know, just the, the model-esque <laughs> level that you're at right now to have to come you down know, to You usually pick my, my characters with a poker face because yeah, exactly. I, I hate my smile. I hate to do anything <laughs> with my mouth. So I, I actually was, I, I wasn't supposed, supposed to even get like pictures of this cosplay. I just took it for a, a little con here in Israel just to show it off before I throw it away. And Alex is a good friend of mine. He was like, you know, let's get some photos of this cosplay. And I just crawled on the ground and like yeah. made those faces. And yeah. yeah. Did you get your acting on a little bit. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, 
We are going to get ready to get out of here, but before we do, I, I want to ask you, like, what's the future looking like for you in cosplay? Like, I know what you're working on, but I don't know if you, I mean, you've kind of revealed it, but I don't know if you want to say it outright. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, what's the future look like for you in cosplay? Do you have anything that you want to say that you're working on? Anything that you want to reveal? Any ideas that you want to reveal? And then also what you're bringing to, uh, what people can expect at Dragon Con. I'm, I'm currently, I'm currently working on my Arkham, my bad girl, yes. which took me like seven months months to make it's the most time it takes me to it took me to make a cosplay God, in general yeah. because i'm if if it's only sawing it takes me like a week yeah. to make a cosplay not a big deal but because but this, all the yeah this thing's so much more printed i have i have a part here actually i took it off um so i actually oh, had yeah. to print all the cosplay um and i have the bodysuit underneath but yeah. most of the the work was actually printing and, you know, sending and priming and everything. So it took me forever to make this one. And I'm really excited about it. Um, cause Alter Ego Studios is making me the call, um, for the first time and for, for this specific cosplay. Um, and I can't wait to wear it. I'm, I'm going to take it out for a photo shoot. Um, this next month um this this is one of the cosplay i cosplays i'm bringing with me i'm also um working on a bo cosplay um from star wars mm -hmm. um oh, well, i mean i have <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> a right. bo -Katan cosplay yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i know where you're getting with this is why i left <laughs> oh um, man I, I have to take advantage of the fact I live in a desert, so yes. you know. I can't wait um, to see. I can't wait to see those those shots. But it will also it it, it will also like be a printed cosplay, so mm -hmm. I'll have to do it again. You know, printing, and want to bring it to Dragon Con. Okay, so I'll be bringing my Arkham Knight Bad Girl. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be bringing Supergirl. Mm -hmm. I'll be bringing Rogue mm -hmm. with a straight wig. I know you don't like it. Bring the wavy one, please. <laughs> I'll bring you to. Um, I am bringing a Catwoman that I'm making right now. Mm -hmm. um, the King's one from Batman and Catwoman. And I bring more cosplays for the parties, but they're not like official canon cosplays. So, so you're only bringing four cosplays? For the daytime. Oh, I bring a Liberty Bell too. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Four. Five. It's four cosplays. Five. It's five cosplays, yeah. That's five, yeah. It's five days. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm only wearing it for four days. What? Yeah, the fifth day isn't really for cosplay. You just hang oh, around. Oh, that's right. Like, Never mind. Yeah. 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 I'll switch between uh, the bad girl and Catwoman probably because I'm going to die in that cosplay. Yeah. I, I can already see it. I, I can see myself melting in that cosplay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't I approach think. me. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I am. I'm definitely going to um, be doing that. Um. <laughs> Let, I dare you. <laughs> let's uh, let people know where they can find you. <laughs> I'll be at the rooftop of Hilton most of the time. Not probably. at fucking Dragon Con on Instagram. <laughs> like, where can they find you? I'll be, I'll be on the rooftop of Dragon Con specifically. <laughs> Just Google my nickname. What do you mean? <laughs> on fucking Instagram. Let them know if they want to follow you where they where they can follow you at. I this is this cosplay. is the outro. Paper dot mood. But. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Right, say it again. You're not doing a very good job of promoting me. I'm sorry. It's late. You should put a. This is a late. A, a this really is a late episode. Sign. It's gonna be up there. That's <laughs> editing, Chazzy. That's not. That's not now. This is. This is. Paper the, dot mood dot cosplay. There we go. Yeah. The split queen. <laughs> I don't know what you just said, but I'm just going to, I'm exactly, I'm just going to thumbs it up and it, that's what's happening. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> uh, before we get out of here, the last thing is I want to give the floor to you to say whatever it is that you want to say, plug whatever you want to plug and uh, just whatever, it, whatever you want to try to get out of that is really We've mouth of yours. We've been talking for so long. Um, yeah, just gotta, pe gotta people should just have this. fun cosplaying, you yeah. know? Think less of like following and like you know mm -hmm. how many followers do you get, likes you're gonna get for cosplay. Just just have fun cosplaying. Yeah, that's cosplaying is all about. Because I feel lately people are more focused on the costume than the playing. Yes. Um, and I really miss that. I mean, this is why I love cons because yeah. you actually meet people and you don't see how many followers and likes they have. Yeah, you just meet people for who they are. Yeah. Um, do that, do that, do that more. <laughs> 
Yeah, do that. Uh, do that. <laughs> if you're not following Paper Moon Cosplay, go follow her right now at paper.moon.cosplay. Are we going to do the Assassin's Creed one? Are we going to do it? Uh, it's up to you. It's up to you. There are uh, more cosplays we're going to do. Right? Yeah. Yeah we, yeah, we are. Thanks for spoiling that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm giving exclusive content here, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to you about the Assassin's Creed one after. You got anything else you want to say? This is a very yep. different episode. It's late. Do you want me to continue kinda... talking? I can. I can do it. You know nah, I can. I've had enough. Uh, <laughs> to everybody watching, thank you for watching, for liking, for commenting, for sure. If you're doing all those beautiful things that you do over on YouTube.com slash side project podcast. When you go down, you hit that big red subscribe button. And you go, ah, when you hit it and you get 100 sexy project points. What are we doing with those project points? I have no idea, ladies and gentlemen. They're kind of like Mario coins or Sonic rings, except the Sonic rings, when you get those, if you get hit, they kind of they kind of help you not die. You know what I mean? They kind of keep you alive a little bit. So if anybody wants to test that and try that, that out go ahead and do that while the camera does not focus on my face i'm just gonna keep hitting this outro because this episode is already too long <laughs> thank you for watching and or listening on spotify as well when you go down and you follow and you rate you do all the things that you or wherever it is i think it's at the top who knows i don't know anymore i appreciate you <laughs> from the bottom of my heart if you're looking for me you can find me on instagram at i g hates chazzy that is my personal and everything else you need to follow is on the screen right now like tiktok and all that stuff the twitter that i don't really ever use and all that good stuff but you can follow me if you want you could tweet me or you could X me, I guess is what it is now. You can, right? You can X me. I don't know. Why are we all freaking out about that, by the way, as well? You know what I mean? Just relax. You're going to use it anyway. Uh, if you want to follow the podcast, follow the podcast on Instagram at Side Project Podcast. Remember, that's Project with a K. For me and for Tail. I say it right? Tail. I said it. Did I say it fucking right? Because you're always like, ah, you roll no. the R's. You don't fucking roll the R's. Well, I'm sorry. You did roll the R. I did not I right now. I did not. I tried to do the fucking deep throat thing that you told me about. You're not doing a very good job at it. I'm sorry. Say the, say your name. Tair. 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 Did I say <laughs> yes. it? Yes. All right. There Any we go. <laughs> For me and Paper Moon Cosplay. <laughs> For the J-O-O. We're out of here. For the KLL. <laughs> <laughs>